Hello, and welcome back to Fish Tuck City. I now have the ability to set policies. I haven't really done any of that before. I don't, I have not screwed around with that. But um, I think first things first, this is what's most important to me. I'm gonna set these goddamn districts. Um, let's do that. Let's just get this big, this big brush here. Be well, maybe a little smaller. Uh, okay, so here. Oh man, oh man, right here. It's not as precise. I wish I had like the um, the boxing tool that that you have when you're uh, when you're setting uh, zones, but I don't. Okay. Um, and then also let's um, let's set this area over here, right there. Uh, you know what? I think it's just gonna be. It's honestly, it probably is going to be this whole area over here. So yeah, and then um. Yeah, and then over here, maybe with a smaller brush, like this. Uh, yeah, you know, whatever. We'll just we'll just line it up there because I don't like the way that, that is. That just kind of snaps to where it goes. All right, just like this. Oh yeah. Now, now what we have to do? What I have to do is um name this. So this. This will be I don't know what what should this be this this is um this is a uh, 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 I don't know this is this is fishy heights oh there you go fishy heights um, and this is this is a uh, the fart express because <laughs> farts are funny and uh, this is um, where people work so yeah that's where people work. Um, that's the Fart Express, and these are Fishy Heights. Yeah, look at that! Look at that! Oh, when you go up here, you're like, uh, Google Maps, um, take me to, uh, to, uh, the Fart Express. <laughs> right here, the Fart Express. You, um, right there. You can just ask everybody, this person, where's she going? Um, she's going home. She's going home. Let's see, uh, where do you, where do you live? This is where she lives, along with, <laughs> along with, uh, ten other people. So, yeah. Man, what a this is great. There's I saw this here. Okay, let's let's figure this out. Okay. This is a jet plane. A jet plane flying to San Cruz. Where the where is San Cruz? I don't know where that is. Honestly, I didn't even know you could build a goddamn uh airfield and uh fly around. I didn't know there was air traffic. This is a whole part of the game I have not figured out. I haven't even been there. But this is now the fart plane. So yeah, have fun, fart plane. Enjoy San Cruz, dick. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I was uh maybe a little meaner than I had to be to that uh, to that uh that jet pilot. He, he's probably a nice guy, or she. Maybe it was a woman. Um. All right. So let's build. Let's just build a couple more squares. And like I said, oh Jesus Christ. Don't do this to me now. Don't do not do this to me. Ah, uh, Jesus Christ. Um, I'm just making I'm just making this part of the town or the city just really really nice, really really clean. And uh, moving forward, you know this this can actually. Yeah. Oh God. God. God damn you. Okay. Um. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Thank you. Jesus Christ, thank you. It really drives me insane. It really, really drives me insane. Okay. I know this looks really boring and really dumb. And uh, does not look like a fun place to live. Because the, ma the madman that made it is obsessed with, with right angles. Because they're easy. Uh... I understand that. I, I I hear your concern. Um, it know that your uh, your uh, your ticket your your ticket is going to be uh, reviewed by our staff and uh, concisely and quickly. Uh, I don't know why I said concise. That's not even the word I was thinking of. But it's going to be quickly removed from thought, and I'm not going to ever consider it again. The point is, is that this has to be the way it is, and I explained it last time. But just for those of you who are stubborn and don't want to watch the first one, you know. This is, this is the way it has to be to save space once I get here, here, or here, or whenever I get to anywhere over here, 
this is going to um maybe i can get a little crazy with it there can be there might be a city in the sky there could be a city underground i don't know i have no idea honestly i don't even know what's happening who are you let's go this is this place is burning down that is not good that is not a good sign because when things burn down they're not they're no longer there <laughs> yeah <laughs> That's why. Oh, okay. Let's um. Uh, if we put it, this. I mean, really, we we're most concerned about this industrial area, so we may as well just stick it right here. Um, really, just anywhere. I want to. I wanted to stick it here just to uh, you know, screw it. May as well, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Just stick it right there. We now have a fire department. Um, that I might have to move in the future because it is kind of in a shitty spot. Um, also, this is not covered by water. So, let's cover it. Alright, fantastic. This is great. This is fantastic. Um, we're making money, we're getting new people, our buildings are on fire. Okay, so let's... Mm, people, people are trying to move into Fishy Heights. Um, whoops. So right there, we'll give him that. Um, maybe we'll even give him this. There you go, people. You like that? There you go, Fishy Heights. Welcome to it. All right, we'll give him that and that. That'll that'll keep him occupied for a bit. New services. What is this? A hospital? Yes, it's a medical clinic. Okay, medical clinic. I think is mo is most necessary over here. Let's um, you know what? I think the medical clinic. I don't want any. I don't really want people to live in because they're just gonna put little stupid baby houses over here anyway. And um, or maybe I'll put it on this side of the road. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Actually, that's good. All right, that's that's not too bad, right? That that kind of uh, that's second thought. That does kind of look like shit. Okay. All right, now it's powered. <coughs> does that have water? Do they have water down here? Um, water, water. Hello, water. Okay. Let's uh put a little water there. Everybody's good. Everybody's covered. Now we have we have medical. Let's um we now have. Uh, do we have enough people to warrant maybe putting in a public school? Um, we can put an elementary school here. We can start them. We can start them off on the right path. <laughs> um, let's just stick that right there. Okay, get everybody. Everybody's happy. Look, we're not gonna be so dumb anymore. We're gonna not account. We somehow afforded to live in a house. I know they're living like 15 people to one house, but how'd you make it that far without going to a goddamn elementary school? How'd you do that? That's pretty crazy. I mean, really, really, it's fucking crazy. How do these people, how do they manage to do that? Okay, um, I am out of money. I am almost completely out of money. Uh, you have water, shut up, just shut up. Um, if anything, you're gonna run out of electricity soon. So just shut up. Um, okay, speed it up a little bit. Let's watch, let's watch our town grow. Fishy Heights, here we come. All right, Fishy Heights, maybe you can, uh, you can expand a little bit. Uh, this is all now Fishy Heights. Let's just, um, this is the territory of Fishy Heights. Oh, God. Is there not, is there too much poo? Is there too much poo? Is that not being powered? Why is that not being powered? Oh, is there not enough electricity? That's what it is. Well, uh, you looks like you're fucked for a little while. You're gonna be have poo piling up. Because I don't have enough money for, uh, for a windmill. Um, you know what? Actually, let's get straight to it, man. Let's just own up to it. We got, we made a mistake. I ran out of money. I need that loan. Uh, let's, let's go right here. I just need 20 grand. I'm gonna get back on my feet. Obviously, we gotta pay that back. And we will. And we will. We're, a, I mean, I'm a reliable man. I'm a reasonable human being. I always pay back. And when somebody does me wrong, I always get payback. You know, you know what I mean. So, all right. Everything looks to be in order here. Fishy Heights is expanding. People are getting educated. They're going to the clinic. You know, they're 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 cleaning up burnt down houses. I haven't had to bulldoze anything yet. I mean, things seem to be going all right for this town. Um, yeah. So what else? We have uh. Okay, we could use a little bit more, a little bit more fun shopping zones. Let's, uh, will anything even build there? 
Will they build like little tiny buildings? I guess so. This is like, hey, I'll put my shop right next to the fire department. And it'll just be a tiny building. Um, alright. Well, that's cool, I guess. Great. <laughs> you, you did it. Um, I might, I'm probably gonna build this road up here and then just make this look horrible. So I'm only going to, uh, use this zone here so we can build two more bigger buildings. <coughs> okay, uh... So now we have, we're making money again. We are no longer completely poor. Let's put some housing over here. Um, I don't want to put any housing over there just yet. And some, and let's just fill this up as well. Okay. And then perhaps we will make some industrial. Maybe. Mayhaps. Just go all, just go all out, man. Um, and then put, just use this little spot for some more. <laughs> uh, we're a tiny town. Look at that. Look at that, we have 1,400 people. Wow. Things are getting crazy, they're getting serious. Um, let it, well, let's look at the policies real quick. Let's, um, we, we can't really do much. Oh, let, what does this do? Energy conversation, uh, conf energy conversations are important, yeah. No, energy conversation, uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, words, conservation, uh, is important. And the best way to do it is installing energy meters in buildings. Uh, moderately reduces electricity consumption, and uh, upkeep is five. Uh, what is that, bucks? I don't know, is that what, is that what the dollar sign is here? Okay, so these are just conservation things. This is, um, <clears throat> excuse me, this is, uh, this is interesting. Okay, no, we don't, I'm not going to set those policies, but in the future, <coughs> I have heard anecdotally, <clears throat> God, I am, uh, I'm real coffee and throaty right now, but I have heard anecdotes of people, wow, I need cops bad. I need them. I need them. Uh, let's, uh, let's stick them. You know, we'll stick them here because now that we have these shops, we, we're going to want them close by. Okay. But, um, <clears throat> I've heard anecdotes of people using policies to fix. Um, actually, I think this was on the, uh, the, uh, Gamers with Jobs, uh, uh, podcast that they were talking about how, um, they, they, uh, there was an anecdote about somebody having a city that there was a lot of bad traffic and then they use a policy of, to reduce heavy traffic because there was a lot of trucks coming into town to go to uh the um the industrial area and um they were passing through the um like uh the uh, housing areas so obviously that caused some traffic and what they inevitably ended up doing was building an overpass and then saying that um it was restricted to a certain type of traffic and that fixed it which is really cool and um oh oh man something is happening here where's your what's your deal here follow where are you going bro what's what's uh what's the deal responding to a call at the lafayette residence <coughs> wow and it even says what their work shift is um owner of the police station i don't know who this who this person is um that's the fart express okay where are you going there's a donut a, a donut truck sure um i wonder what's happening at the lafayette residence let's uh come on let's speed this up a little bit bro i don't have all day okay um that is travis parker the cop he's inspecting a crime scene what exactly happened here and is this house backwards? Um, oh, an upgrade is underway. So these houses are upgrading. And Jeremy Gray, these two guys, what's going on here, fellas? What's the sitch? Okay, I guess they, I guess they got all they needed. Um, <clears throat> that was uh, everything that needed that they needed to know. That is a really annoying siren. Anyway, I'm glad I like the way this town is. It's a very nice, wonderful town. The Lafayette residents that seemed like they were having a great time other than the fact that they had a cop there um, For whatever reason, but yeah those sirens they would drive me fucking crazy I actually live very close to a real-life fire station and their their um, Sirens are not even close to as annoying as the ones in my city in city skylines um, Okay Let's uh, put down some more windmills Unfortunately, I eventually we are going to have to put down a coal power plant or 
an oil power plant until we have enough clout to actually build a solar um, solar plant or whatever. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, that's just kind of the way it is for these smaller towns because it's just more affordable and uh, they don't have the ability to even gain access to it. Um, do we have... Our sewage is fine. Uh, we must have just ran out of electricity for a little bit and people are bitching. Um, trying to be trying to be conscious of the environment, you know. Uh, not don't. I'm not. I'm no hippie, but <laughs> there's no reason to pollute on purpose. So if we can, I would like to represent that in this game. But you know, it's not. It's not exactly an option all the time. Uh, and you got to be realistic. This is this is the real fake world of Sims. Uh, er, er, oh, oh, fuck. No, this is not Sim City. Thank God. This is a uh, city skylines. Um. But you, you, you know what I mean. You saw where I was going with it, so don't pretend you didn't. Jeez, you guys are so nitpicky. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah. Wow, look at look at this booming city of <laughs> fifteen hundred people. Um, let's look at let's quickly look at this traffic. Um, there's a lot of traffic here, a lot of traffic here. Mm. To be expected. There's also a fire. Is there somebody putting out that fire? That's the question. Uh. Let's see, what does it say when it's on fire? Oh, I hear it, I hear the sirens. Oh, here it comes. Uh, they're extinguishing the fire of the Valley residents. But look, they're still happy. 10 of them in one house, and they're still happy. Wow, who's this guy? This Todd Harvey, he's extinguishing a fire. This American hero. Look at these guys. That guy just ran right in there. Albert Murray, Todd Harvey. I wonder if people die. If I watch this house and it doesn't burn down, I wanna see if I'm... Um... So there are 10 people in this house. Four of them are educated. That's that's very impressive. I mean, four of them educated in the sense that they went to elementary school. But, um, yeah, no, look at that. Two households living there. The house is still there. Did not burn down. What about school? Who's going? 266 out of 300 st are, are students there. Are, that's pretty good. 266 out of 300 possible, uh, uh, or for, like, the capacity. Um... Words, man. I think that none of none of what I said just made sense. Um, two out of th uh, two of three households live here. There's just a lot of area here that um. Oh, I see. So now they're building like doubles. They're building they're building like houses that are closer together, which is actually kind of neat. So now 14 people are living here as opposed to the 10 like that, that were possible before. This is there's 13 people over here, so you can really see like wow. And this is like on an incline too. I didn't realize that. But there is um there is like a real, like a real sense of uh, density just increasing by like a large margin. Um, there's just 12 uneducated human beings living there. Um, all right, so but we they really want more places to live. So and wow, holy shit, we got 25 grand. Let's let's fucking go to town, man. Let's um bump that. Do this. There you go. And there's some more places. So um we I mean. It does seem like if you just let them go for a little while, they will just start bu building larger houses. Okay, this is this this traffic problem is becoming an actual problem. So I think what we're gonna do here is um what we're gonna do here is just make a make that uh, one way, and then also make this one way um in the other direction. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, if if people need to get around here, then they can go. They can make they can make a big loop. It's inconvenient in the real world, but in the world of city skylines, it is actually just a big deterrent of traffic. Um, that it, that just looks much better. That looks a lot better already. Obviously, that's a that is a problem um, to be sure. But these are no longer problems. Okay. So now, it's easier than ever. It, it has never been easier <laughs> for these people to leave this city. Um, and I think from here we can just... Oh, okay, yeah, that's not going to make everybody happy, of course. Um, from here we can... Uh, man, I, uh, this, 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 uh, this camera just became extremely nauseating. Extremely nauseating. Innauseating? I don't know why. Sometimes I say things... They don't make any goddamn sense, and it's frustrating because I know how to speak English. I'm actually pretty good at it. I do it well, right? Don't I? Tell me I'm good. Tell me, tell me I'm good. Okay. Um. 
yeah, look at that. We got some more areas here. Now we can we can use this to uh, build up the uh, fart fart express. Is that what it's called? Or the um, the farting parkway or whatever? <laughs> what do we call it? Yeah. Oh yes, the fart express. Um, now we can build up that area a bit more. Um, we can also remove some of these power lines because they are just completely unnecessary. Um, obviously that one still needs to be there, which is slightly frustrating, but, um, oh, mm, are they, do they, <laughs> they not have power? Um, let's see, maybe, let's, I don't, I don't see us building in these center areas for a while, for quite a while, so let's just, for now, that's good enough. So now everybody, everybody has power again. We're building some. We're building some places for people to shop. Fishy Heights is growing, at um, at a fantastic rate. And there's demand for everything. For everything, man. This is great. Um, when do we get? When do we get this? Okay, we need seven thousand people to get higher density areas, because this might be a nice city. Because this is actually. This is actually very, very condensed um, and very easy to work around. So we can actually, we might be able to actually turn this into like a, you know, high rise city, cool town, cool place for cool people. Um, meanwhile, in Garbageville, <laughs> when I know this garbage town, right? Whatever. Uh, let's uh, put those there and. Maybe, let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe we'll do some of that. Just give them some more places to, uh, oh, is there, is, do we have a real big problem with, um, oh, sewage, wow, yeah, sewage is not, is not fantastic right now. Oh, and here, I think you, I, I'll be able to show you here, because I mentioned it last time, but it just becomes a real big poo-poo problem. Um, let's just take a look here. Let's see. Oh, no. Whoa, there's not... I guess there's not a whole lot of poop, but you can see it all coming out. Um, usually it'll just make this whole thing brown. Okay, so... Now, we have, um, apparently unlocked the ability to create, um, parks, I guess? Um, yeah, just like... Just like natural parks or whatever. I don't... I haven't really done a whole lot of this. Um... Eh, I guess it makes people happy, personally. Who cares? I don't care if you're happy. It's not about being happy. This is about living life. Well, I mean, living life is kind of... It's also about being happy. But this is about living the life I want you to live. This is... This is City Skylines, damn it. Get over it. L live, live the life I told you to live. Um, let's just quick water up these other areas. Everything's good, man. We got, um, now we have access to a high school. This is crazy, man. These people, Jesus, they're going to be so fucking educated. <laughs> they're going to be so educated. They're, uh, they're not going to know what hit them. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, so I'm going to put a high school there. Um, which really, really, there goes a lot of our money. <clears throat> but that's all right. Because, you know, education is important to the people of this city. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> you know what else is? Electricity. And they don't have any. God damn it. Let's, uh... Here, you guys... Um, actually, you know what also might be useful? Just straight up doing that, because then you get that little bit of more residential area. I'm the... I'm like the... Uh, I don't know. Uh, just the most... Douchey like just super douchey mayor guy who's just like no seriously if we just we can utilize this extra space and you know but hey it works what can i say you know if it works it works ah <sighs> okay we are we are super low on money and we are super low on electricity um this is this is kind of the this is what you run into and um we're gonna let's we're gonna take that loan we're gonna take that loan and uh, we're gonna build a goddamn coal plant because you know what? Sometimes you gotta take drastic measures 
to uh, ensure the safety of your people. So, there you go. Yeah, you might not like that. I love the smell of burning fossil fuel in the morning. I'm glad you like that because that's that's strange. Okay, so let's look at let's look at how much power we have now. We have a, an an incredible excess of power, um, and we have 2,400 people. See, things are going really well. It's just um, you know, a matter of do you want to do it with or without fossil fuels, and uh, make everything look super dirty. And at this point, I can't say that I care. You know, it's just it's. That's just the best way to do it. Just get some money from the government, use that to uh, make a coal plant, and then not worry about electricity for for a pretty long while. And yeah, so look at that. Look at this city, man. We got Fishy Heights. We got the Fart Express. We got where people work. We, now we have a coal factory. People are getting educated. This is a goddamn high school. There's 788 people in high, or 790 people going to high school. 93 that weren't going yesterday. That's crazy. And there's almost 300 people going to elementary school. Look at this. These people, seven are uneducated, three are educated. Okay, that's still not as good as I would like. I would like, I would like all these people to be educated. But let's just um, uh, for our own interest, let's look at this. Well, I mean, that's not too bad considering the before everything was red. But we're gonna have to maybe we'll have to plop down some more schools because there are after all 2,500 people here, and there are what maybe 1,200 spots for school but a lot of these people are already working anyway yeah look at that the Ford Express how's it doing how's this doing how you, how, you, how you guys doing oh no oh sorry that wasn't it the gigantic fart palace the gigantic fart palace is doing fantastic look at that it's incredible the gigantic fart palace where's the where's the other where's uh where, where are you where are these folks these uh the kind folks of uh the fart house the fart house is great I'm sure that the the jack the flapjack is is somewhere over here, uh, doing his thing. Oh man, I would really love to find the flapjack. Um, also, there's the fart plane flying around somewhere. Look, uh, this place is great, man. <laughs> this is great. Anyway, I've been Mike Fire for Fish Tuxedo. You've been watching me play some City Skylines. It's cool. Enjoy it and play it and love it as if it were your own father. Goodbye.